So you wanted to connect an actual domain directly here at Wix. I'm going to show you in a very easy way the process to give your site a professional touch. So the two things you needed to do in order to continue. First of all, you needed to go directly into a provider that can help you to purchase an actual domain. Today, what I want to do is to be using Hostinger.com. Here into Hostinger, we have an active plan. If you don't have one, you can always go directly here into the homes, go for domains, get a new domain, and choose the desired domain you wanted to purchase. Usually there's a lot of great uh, domains that you can purchase and they actually have really uh, great deals. You can save a lot of money for that. That's the reason why we actually use Hostinger. So, assuming that you have an actual domain, then what you want to do is then open a new tab and go for Wix. Here into Wix, what you wanted to do is to now access the domain settings inside your actual uh, section of your website. So in this case, let's say for example that I assume that I have this uh, section, I go for select and edit my site. Inside here into Wix, I have now the editor of Wix. So what you wanted to do is to uh, go for the domain settings, click into the option that says connect a domain that you already own. So for that here, it says connect a custom to domain. And here, what you wanted to do is to copy and paste the domain that you already have. So I'm going to go into my domains, which in this case is this one. I copy this one. I go back here and go for let's go. Now it's going to be asking you, of course, it's going to be telling you that this uh, domain has already been taken. The reason why is because we already own this. So let's go for yes, I own this domain. So in order to continue, of course, we needed to make the upgrade of the actual Wix. So it's going to be really important, guys, that you have an actual upgraded plan in order to continue. If you don't have a current plan, well, I might be telling you that this actually is just not going to work. If just in case that you don't have an actual plan yet inside the actual Wix. So uh, now I'm going to go back, of course, into my Wix domain. And let's move on into the verification of the connected of the domain. Now it's going to be asking you to replace your name servers. So here what you want to do is to find the domain settings, find the area where you manage or edit the name or server records. So in this case, I'm going to go back into my domain section where I actually make the purchase and go directly into DNS name servers. As you can see, I have the name servers of this actual names. So I can go for change my neighbors and go for change the name service. So here what I wanted to do is to choose the name servers that were provided to me. In this case, it's going to be both of them. So copy all of them. Of course, this is going to be a little bit different when you make the process and paste it here into the name servers. So I do exactly the same process and paste only at the IP address if required by our domain host. So I paste it and I hit into save. Once you have made this process, what you want to do is to make the verification of the ownership. Wix we're going to be providing us an instructions to verify ownership of the domain. So typically, it's going to be asking us for an actual DNS. So the DNS, of course, is going to be provided by Wix. So all the information directly from DNS, you wanted to put this directly here into DNS uh, name servers. Go for the DNS records and here have the DNS records. So usually it's going to be asking you for a C name, but you can enter a TXT, an A, or a record that was provided, of course, with Wix. Now here, what you wanted to do is to choose the name and the content that was provided from Wix. So usually it's going to be looking like this. It's going to be telling you which is the host name, the value, and the TTL. So just copy all this information and paste it directly into the DNS settings. Once you have successfully done that, it's going to be looking like this. As you can see, you already have done this directly here. And this is how it actually looks. So once you have done this process, what you want to do is to set the primary domain. After verifying the ownership, you have the option to set your connected domain as the primary domain for your website and choose the design domain and save your actual settings. And so make sure of that, I'm going to go back, of course. Check out your website. We have now connected the custom domain. You have to set up the shipping and delivery, and then you're actually good to go. So I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to copy the name of my domain, which in this case is this one. And I'm going to paste it into a new section. So I'm going to make sure that it actually works. Now, sometimes it says that we are not able to access here because we have just done this in a very, uh, let's say, really, really fast. So you have to wait till one or two hours. So just make sure that your domain is not being connected correctly. 
just in case that you see directly here into the domain verification and the DNS service, there's an actual issue there. Well, we have to solve this in order to make that the Wix has now accepted the domain directly here into Wix. But that is how actually we do this in a very easy, easy way, guys. So with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools how we can get started here into Wix, custom domains, and so much more. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, with all of that being said, we can also see you to a brand new video of TechPress. See you soon.